Hello and welcome to Build with Ben. In this episode I'm going to be looking at the Hogwarts Legacy trailer and trying to work out which version of Hogwarts they've used for it. And it's also just a bit of a general trailer breakdown. So, keep watching. So one of my weird specialist subjects has always been the architecture of Hogwarts. And I've got a lot of personal experience with this. I've built most of Hogwarts in Minecraft. And it's fair to say I've always been pretty obsessed with the films and the books. So I know what I'm talking about when it comes to the architecture of Hogwarts. So I thought it'd be interesting to look at the Hogwarts Legacy trailer and work out which version of the castle they're actually using. So I've made some notes on this and we'll dive into it now. Okay, so the trailer begins with having a flying cart going into the castle. And the idea of the game is that you're coming to Hogwarts as a late student. So I think you're like a fifth year student. And I think this will be the car that's like taking you in. Uh, because normally the first years would go down on a boat or the you would take the carriages. But because you are a latecomer, you seem to be coming in on this flying cart. And the game is set in the late 1800s, which means this is a prequel to the high of films we uh, already know, including Fantastic Beasts and all the books. So as this car comes in, it gives us our first big wide shot of the castle. And this is where I started to really start analysing it. So, from what I can tell, they are using what I refer to as the Half-Blood Prince version of Hogwarts. Now this means the castle has every addition that's been added over the series, which includes places like the uh, Clock Tower Courtyard, which was added in Prison of Azkaban, and includes the Astronomy Tower, which is added in Half-Blood Prince. And there was a few changes when it comes to the Entrance Courtyard between Philosopher's Stone and Prison of Azkaban. The Entrance Courtyard was added to uh, where the Grey Hall is, that was never actually there in Philosopher's Stone, which is something that really bugged me about uh, the Fantastic Beast film, is that really, because that's a prequel to Philosopher's Stone, it should be using the Philosopher's Stone castle, or something that looks like it's a, a earlier version of the Philosopher's Stone castle, but it's not. And one of the big differences between the Fantastic Beast version of the castle and the Philosopher's Stone castle is the uh, massive viaduct for the added in Deathly Hallows, so when I say this is the Half-Blood Prince version of the castle, one of the main things I mean is that it doesn't have the Deathly Hallows viaduct. And I hate this viaduct. <laughs> I believe the sole purpose of adding it was to have cool action scenes. It doesn't connect the castle to any logical point. It's just a random hill. I don't understand why they would have added a viaduct like that. Um, so I think it's just there for action scenes. So this version of the castle that we see in Hogwarts Legacy does not have the Deathly Hallows Viaduct, which is brilliant news, because I hate it. So that's why I refer to this as the Half of Prince version of the castle, because it's got every addition made to the castle for other films, apart from the additions made in Deathly Hallows, which were mainly the viaduct, but they also expanded the entrance courtyard, and they also expanded a certain tower area. Um, but in this version, we see the normal smaller entrance courtyard and no viaduct, which is great. That's my favorite version of the castle, so this is good. It's a good start. So this isn't quite the Philosopher's Stone version because we still have the entrance courtyard, which wasn't there in Philosopher's Stone. However, they've done some nice little additions here to kind of hint that this is an earlier version of the castle. One of the main things I've noticed is there are less herbology greenhouses. Normally, there are some on this side of the castle here. These have been taken away, and actually, the ones on the other side, they seem to have been moved around. Instead of having about, I think there's normally about four there, there's now three, and one of them's going off at a different angle, kind of like a perpendicular angle. Um, this is interesting. Uh, I think basically they've tried to think of making the castle slightly smaller because it's a prequel, and I like this, it's good thinking. The other thing I noticed is the lake surrounding Hogwarts is slightly smaller. Um, normally it goes quite far outwards from the castle, but in this version, in the game, uh, the lake looks a lot smaller. It might go back as far as it used to, but it doesn't go forward as far as it used to. So that's kind of interesting, and I wonder if that's to have a greater um, outside area of the castle. I think uh, by the looks of this game, they want to make you be able to explore the grounds more. Um, and if most of the surrounding area of Hogwarts was just a massive lake, that's not very fun to explore. So I think they've tried to slim down the lake a little bit so that they can have more hills and forests and stuff for you to like navigate through. And I'm, I'm okay with that. You know, maybe the lake expanded more over time, which is it's possible. 
The other thing I notice here is there's a new kind of like circular courtyard where the greenhouses used to be. So there's a new kind of like little courtyard area here. Don't know what that's going to be used for, but it's interesting. And then what's nice about this is that the castle layout does look pretty much exactly the same as the rest of the films. Uh, we've still got the alley, we've still got the Quidditch pitch. Um, we've got every kind of like the every courtyard, every tower seems to be there. Um, although there are a few little changes which we'll get to. So the trailer moves on, we start to get a bit more of a close-up view of the castle here. And one of the main things on display here is the astronomy tower. And I can't work out what's happened here. The astronomy tower, it looks pretty close to how it does in Half-Blood Prince, but it's slightly different. And I can't tell if they've slightly redesigned it because they're thinking it's an earlier version of the castle, or if they've rotated it. Um, because the app, there's two those two central columns on it look pretty much as they do in the films but it's the rest of it which looks slightly different so i can't work out quite what they've done there and i wonder if it maybe is just a slightly different design of the astronomy tower which i'm kind of fine with now this is interesting we get our first view of the great hall and for the most part it looks like a great hall but they have expanded it it's wider than it used to be there's some more columns added in um so there are a few little changes the back window looks slightly different how that's designed so basically, it's, a, it's the Great Hall that we know, but just made wider, made bigger, more expanded. And I think that is something we're going to see with a lot of locations in the game. I think they're going to try and take what's in the films, try and recreate it to some degree, but then expand it, make it bigger, make it kind of more immersive for a big open world video game. And that's exciting to me. I, I like the fact that they haven't gone with a completely new version of the castle that we don't recognise. Instead, they've taken the one we know and kind of just built upon it. And that's that's really I'm I'm okay with that. They haven't just done what Fantastic Beasts did, which is get the exact version of the castle from Deathly Hallows and just pretend that's what it looks like in Fantastic Beasts, because that's lazy. But this I really love where they're going with this. It's like yes, yeah, the Hogwarts we know, but with more detail and just and just slightly bigger. And I think that's exciting. So we get a little bit of look of a library kind of looking area here. Uh, it doesn't look exactly like it does in the films. So there's probably just a new area or new expanded version of the library um, but it looks really nice i think all of the new locations have added look really nicely designed they fit in with hogwarts and they look exciting to explore we see a couple of like new classrooms and places we haven't seen before the the inside the greenhouse looks like a new version of the greenhouse we haven't seen before there's a lot of new rooms which um, i think just speaks to the fact that they're going to be making this a really fully fleshed out Hogwarts. There's going to be loads of new rooms to explore. We get a little brief glimpse of Hogsmeade. Uh, so that's going to be an explorable area in the game. Maybe you can go and buy things from shops there and upgrade your character. So that's going to be cool. And uh, this seems to be like uh, a new area they've added of a kind of gatehouse. Maybe there's even a wall surrounding Hogsmeade. Um, and there seems to be a bit of a bridge. And what I'm wondering is if they've added... Uh, a bridge that goes into Hogsmeade to try and connect it up more to Hogwarts and I think you'll probably be able to walk there from the actual castle themselves or even fly there on a hippogriff or your broom or something um, but I think I think hopefully you will be able to actually get to Hogsmeade within the game without like a loading screen or something and I think that's what I'm thinking they're trying to do, I think they're trying to expand the outer world of the castle so it's not just a small castle that you're exploring, it's Hogwarts and then everything around it the Forbidden Forest, uh, Hogsmeade itself, um, like the, the train station. I think they're going to try and add a lot of that surrounding area in. And actually in the later part of the trailer, we see a lot of different kind of like broken down ruins and things like that. I think that's all going to be in the surrounding area of Hogwarts. One little theory I've got is for some of these ruins, I wonder if they're like the old version of the school that's kind of become dilapidated. It's, you know, it's been left behind. So it's like old Hogwarts. And we have to go in and explore there. Maybe there's some, been something like some kind of magical artifact left behind or something that we have to go in and find. But that's my little theory. But it's it's the old, an old wing of the school that's been just evacuated. It's been left to rot. And that's what we're going into, old Hogwarts. And if that's true, I really, <laughs> I, I like that idea. Just just say old Hogwarts makes me like go, oh, that sounds interesting. Or maybe Hogwarts was actually built on something else something else used to be there in the same way we used to build on old burial sites or something maybe there was a, an old wizard temple or something that hogwarts the, the land that hogwarts was built on used to be this holy site for wizards or something I, I don't know but i think there's a lot they can do with that so a lot of the sort of 
last third of the trailer is like new areas that we haven't seen in the films before so that's what i'm saying i think that's gonna be like the outer area of the castle now at 209 we see a dragon which did make me briefly wonder maybe there's like a tri wizard tournament going on in this game and you actually have to do the tasks you know the three different challenges um i think that's highly possible uh and it would kind of account for a lot of the monsters and things we're seeing um but then again, maybe for maybe for the type of video game they want, a Tribes of Tournament isn't quite exciting enough. I don't know. I think it would be a good system for a video game, but we'd have to see what they uh, what they do with that. Otherwise, it's it's hard to think how you would if most of the game is meant to be being a Hogwarts. How do you then have a dragon just somewhere around Hogwarts, um, unless it is being specifically brought in uh, for something like Tribes of Tournament? So that's a little just a little theory I had. And that's the end of the trailer. Um, for the most part, like I say, it does look like the half the Prince version of the castle we've seen before, but just with little tweaks to make it feel like an earlier version. And that's exciting. I think they're going to do... There, there's so much they could do with this. Um, but I like the fact that it's, it's not a complete redesign. They've, they've taken the elements we know and added to it, which is great. And that's what Fantastic Beasts should have done. Um, this version of the castle it looks really good it looks really like pleasing um, and it's everything I want from a high part video game I'm I'm properly excited so uh, thanks for watching this I will maybe put an update video to my Hogwarts Minecraft video soon so I will let, if you subscribe you will be the first person to see it um, but you don't have to but uh, thanks for watching anyway <laughs> cheers Thank you for watching this episode of Build It With Ben. Subscribe here for more coming soon.